the intercept timeline is instantaneous. You know, it's just <laughs> pew, pew, pew. I mean, we're talking Star Dude, Wars. That's now. a lot of calm to throw in there instantaneously. In the vein of uh, shooting down all these drones, Raytheon is prototyping directed energy zappers for the U.S. Air Force and the Navy. And where that's interesting is this has been a, a thing that they even mentioned as something that can be used for shooting down drones, shooting down cruise missiles, stuff like that, because you get overwhelmed fairly quickly using projectiles. And the ability to, to rearm can be a thing. So what they're talking about is they've got this awesome acronym called DEFEND, Directed Energy Frontline Electromagnetic Neutralization and Defeat Program. Say that three times fast, Gonky. No. It uses <clears throat> high-power uh, microwave antenna system, as the company described in their announcement, uh, and it's already underway in Tucson. It's a key part to national defense. The iterations uh, of their high-power microwave systems are cost-effective, reliable solutions that operate at the speed of light, enabling our warfighters to defend against faster, more maneuverable threats. So theoretically, you know, you're, you're not... The intercept timeline is instantaneous. You know, it's just... <laughs> pew, pew, pew. I mean, we're talking Star Dude, Wars. that's now. a lot of calm to throw in there instantaneously. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the goal, uh, it's a billion dollars annually to develop directed energy weapons. At this point, are we just making up numbers? We're like, that's a billion dollars, whatever. Everything's a billion dollars. It's like, whose line is it anyway, where the points don't matter? <laughs> Nobody's keeping score because it's just funny money now. Uh, directed energy weapons with the goal of deploying them aboard aircraft, warships, and ground vehicles to bat down drones and missiles. High-power microwave equipment specifically works by unleashing waves of energy that overwhelm the internal circuitry of weapons, rendering them useless. Its prototypes will be rugged and transportable for the frontline use against airborne threats. Uh, there's another cool acronym called Chimera. Counter-electronic high-power microwave extended range air-based defense. Wait, there's a D there. Like that? That's not an acronym. <laughs> that's just the name. <laughs> Anyway, so that's that. And uh, to me, th this is the future of warfare at this point. What, instantaneous? Uh, well, no. The, the fact that you're going to have to defend against drone, drones and drone swarms and stuff like that. Because Ukraine and even the current conflict with uh, Israel has taught us that these FPV, the first-person drones, are highly effective. And, you know, the 18-year-old in the foxhole can do this and launch the drone. And then, you know, people were, were asking me or trash talking the fact that I call it a suicide drone, but that's what it is. When it's a drone that goes one direction with no intent to coming back, it's a suicide drone. The drone itself is committing suicide, essentially, even Weapon. though it's not a living being right. uh, or attack drone. So you're, you're able to do this and you see, I mean, I, I don't think you can turn on the internet today without seeing some, uh, drone footage, like you see the footage of it, of the last moments of the, you know, the armored person or the personnel carrier right before it hits, you know, the, the 10 dudes in the back of the truck or whatever it is. And that's very hard to defend against. So having directed energy weapons, because there are some, some ta techniques and stuff out there, but I think that, I think that you're probably one of the major components of this is being able to instantaneously target. So find, fix, target, track, you know, to turn and, and actually do that when it's a moving small object, you know, that's that's part of it. Um, and it's something that, you know, if they can make it portable, you can save a lot of uh, troops on the ground. And, and in this case, you know, we're dealing with that in in, in the, the current environment with the Houthis. What yeah. do you think? <clears throat> no, I agree with all that, dude. I think it's going to get real scary when they start incorporating like AI with drones who are on a one-way mission. I mean, it can, you know, just think up your wildest sci-fi <laughs> scenario and it's like, it's starting to come true, right? So how do you combat it? I mean, it, you know, we're shooting them with reg regular projectiles now, but I mean, I'm all for the, I'm all for this new kind of technology, man. I don't, but it, to me, it just sounds like it's a bunch of ideas on paper. No, there, I mean, the article talks about, 
you know, they're already developing it in Tucson. You know, I think a lot of it's probably highly classified. You know, you're not going to see anything until it's it's later on. <clears throat> in fact, right. you know, it's possible. You know, it's it's possible you're getting a lot of live testing right now. You know, as they go, you know, there's maybe nothing that says that. You know, where's the world's where's the world's best operational test and evaluation out there? Yeah. You know, we were talking about that with the F thirty five. Yep. That's a pretty good place to be testing <clears throat> capabilities. And we've seen some really cool things out of the F-35 um, shooting down yeah, cruise missiles. There's no shortage of conflicts right now to test things. Two, two fronts. Mm -hmm. Jordan says we won't actually know anything until it's already been used. Yeah, probably. And, yeah. and even then you might not. Yeah. Um, you might not, you know, I mean, we won't know until they're ready for us to know. It's like the B-21. You know, people are always asking us about the B-21. It's like, yeah, <laughs> your, your Google search is as good as mine. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> if I did know, I wouldn't want to go to jail. So mm -hmm. I'm not going to tell you. No. And odds are I don't know. Well, dude, That's, it's like when they, when I was a kid, right, when they unveiled the F-117, they'd been flying it for years. Yeah, by the you time know, you know, it's too right. late. 